So now let's talk about general preferences. Now for you PC users, you're going to find your general preferences by going up to edit general preferences. For us in a Mac, we're going to go up to Illustrator, down to preferences, to general. Now there's a list of all kinds of different preferences. You don't necessarily have to go just to general. You could switch directly to slices or to appearance of black or type. I'm going to kind of go in list, so I'll start off with general and move from there. Now in the general options, you're going to have things like the ability to control keyboard increment, which means that when you use your arrow keys, it automatically moves the object. And what we have written here is how far it's going to move that object. Now if you hold down shift and use your arrow keys, it'll take whatever increment we have here and times it by 10. So if we've got one, when we hold down shift and use the arrow keys, it's going to wind up being 10. Now we also have the ability to change the constraint angle, the corner radius, lots and lots of options down here. A good one is the reset all warning dialogues. As we're working today, we're going to keep seeing dialogues pop up where we have the option of not showing that option again. If you ever want to reset, all you have to do is come here, click the reset all warning dialogues, and all those boxes will actually reappear again.